Here are the leaders. And with somewhat muted scores for Havel and Donahue, they may feel pretty safe here. Victoria Sinitsina, Nikita Katsalapov for the Russian Federation. Believe it or not, with such a strong pedigree, Russia hasn't won the ice dance title for 12 years. Perfect twizzles. Magical. When the Russian Federation split up the former teams that these two had, it was a gamble. A lot of people very surprised they were both on the podium at Russian Championships. But this was the night they were aiming for, and it looks like they've got it spot on. And it looks like in 2021, we are looking at the world ice dance champions.
Whew, what a night. <laughs> just, that was just a, an amazing way to end this competition. A flawless routine. And it had to be. It's uh, such as the quality of the, all of the performances. These two had to come out and uh, really nail the program. And that's exactly what they did. I couldn't see a mistake in there. That technical score, I think, uh, really is the writing on the wall. But we hardly saw more than the slither of a mistake from any of them in this final group. Quite amazing standard, even without Papadakis and Cizron. They'd have had to work really hard to win the title here. Yeah. If you think of the whole field, the whole 20, I don't think there's been really a big error all the way through. Yeah. So maybe the ISU should look at that. Maybe it needs to be, the rules need to be a little bit tougher. But uh, this was just a remarkable performance from these two, and they held their nerve because it's not easy when you last escape and everybody's uh, performed as well as they have. Another couple who both had COVID in December. Very difficult for one to get it and not the other, you'd imagine, if you're an ice dance yeah. couple. Yeah. But they both had it. And they've recovered, trained hard in Moscow, and here's their reward. It seems. We still can't be absolutely sure, but it, in all probability, it looks like they're going to be top of the pile. They are the reigning European champions. Of course, no Europeans this year, but they won the title last year. And it looks like the world title is coming to them as well. They need 126.57. Surely that's within their compass. They got 131 when they won the Europeans in Graz. So this would be the sixth uh, medal, wouldn't it, for FSR? Absolutely. Six of the 12, half the medals yeah. would have gone to the Russian Federation. Taking their time. He's either praying or about to pass out. I'm not too sure. <laughs> well, they've had to wait a long time. Here we yeah. go then. 126.57 to beat. Oh, it's oh. comfortably there. Their best ever score. They are the world ice dance champions. Thoroughly deserved, great score, not just for technical, but for components as well. And they won in the, the end by some way. They won the free. Second in the free were Gillis and Poirier. How about that? Yeah, what an achievement for them. But there's Goodness confirmation. Me. It is gold for Sinitsina and Katsalapov. Silver to Hubble and Donahue. Finally, Gillis and Poirier get on the podium and desolation, I'm afraid, for Chock and Bates. Wonderful for Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson. They take seventh place for Great Britain. It's been some time since we've had such a good result in the dance. And Chris, I don't mind having a go at the judges, as you know, here and there. Yeah. But I think they got it spot on in the end here. And it was good to see some movement, finally, at the top places. Yes, I've, I've got to say, uh, Gilles and Poirier's free programme was just incredible. And uh, it's great to see that the, the, the judges really did go with that. They were just remarkable. Madison and Zachary obviously had enough in hand. Uh, after a very, very good rhythm dance. What a competition. Perseverance, the name of the game. 
for Gillis and Poirier particularly and for Sinitsina and Katsalapov. I think you, you can see Hubble and Donahue weren't thrilled with their silver. It hasn't been a great, because they really thought this was the year where they were going to take the gold without yeah. Papadakis and Caesar on. And Chock and Bates desperately disappointed. Yes, you've got to feel for them, haven't you? That's, uh, that's a tough pill to swallow, that one. Can you imagine the two routines they put together, Chock and Bates, and they're not on the podium? And they didn't put a foot wrong here. They must be thinking, what the heck do I have to do to get back on the podium? It can be cruel, can't it? Here are our winners. Good evening here in Stockholm. And we are very pleased to welcome the 2021 World Ice Dance Champion, Victoria Senitsina Nikita Katsalapov. Vika and Nikita, this is the first time you win the world title. What do you feel right now? I'm so happy, really. I don't know what I can say right now. I just want to smile and uh, cry. Can you, your program is uh, very emotional. Can you talk about the emotions you feel during your performance? Okay. Hello, everyone. Actually, right now, I have no idea what to say, even about the emotions, because I left it all on the ice right now. I'm totally empty, and it feels really amazing. <laughs> this was a very unusual world championship. How was this experience for you? Oh, everything was on the top level. The one thing is missing, really, the audience. but. Thank to all these guys who were on the tribunes today. They helped us a lot. We we heard uh, our team members were cheering for us. Uh, we are really thankful about it. Thank you very much. Congratulations again, the 2021 World Ice Dance Champions, Viktoria Senitsina, Nikita Katsalapov. Спасибо. Thank you. European champions and now world champions and all that work, all that talent coming to fruition. Third place then, what a reward for these two. Piper Gillies and Paul Poirier finally get on the podium after all those years, 10 years of trying. Fitting reward. Second place for the American champions. Second time they've been runners up. Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue. But I'm afraid it's disappointment for them. A great achievement to get on the podium at the World Championships, but it's not the color of medal they were looking for. But they were utterly brilliant. Here are the gold medalists, Sinitsina and Katsalapov, the winners of the World Figure Skating Ice Dance Championships. A proper competition. In the end, there wasn't a, a flicker of doubt. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's been uh, thrilling to bring you the ice dance competition. And this morning, breathtaking performance from Nathan Chen.
and we'll be back tomorrow at around 150. Depends on the number of things, but uh, that's probably the latest we'll be on. It starts at 1.30, but we're more than likely to be just a little late tomorrow. 150 with the gala, you'll see all the medalists, that's for sure. So I hope you can join Chris and myself for the gala for these fantastic world championships.